giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect. This is Brother Taz Pai here with you with another lesson, and we're going to continue with the same theme from yesterday's lesson, <clears throat> and trusting in Yahweh Shai, you know, not being afraid of the storm that, that's brewing, because in this truth, we were called to be soldiers. So you must have the mindset that you're ready to die for this, all right? The mindset of a soldier. So we're going to talk about soldierhood. And that's what these scriptures are all about. Yahweh Shah made references to being a soldier, as well as the disciples uh, and uh, the Apostle Paul. You know, mainly the Apostle Paul spoke highly about being a soldier. So uh, we'll see what Yahweh Shah had to say about it, and then we'll get some other precepts to back that up. So this is uh, out of the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 25. It says, And there went, went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them that he is Yahweh Shai, none other than the only begotten of Yahweh the Father, our Lord and, and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. All right. Verse 26 it says, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Now, what I come to realize here is that Yahweh Shah right here was talking about the people get hate up. up. So like your people get caught up on that hate. Oh, the hate. No, that's. You know, that's such a strong word. I couldn't hate my father. My No, what Yahweh Shai is uh, alluding to here is soldierhood. And that's what I come to realize. Yahweh Shai is talking about being a soldier, okay? A soldier ain't mama. A soldier ain't daddy. A soldier ain't baby. You know, <clears throat> your little pumpkin. You know, your your daughter or or your son, you know, you concerned about them. That's not soldierhood. And this is what Yahweh Shai is saying. He's not telling you to despise and loathe your mother and father and your brethren, your sisters, and your and your own children. He's not telling you to hate them. He's telling you that this should not be your focus. Such as a no different from a soldier on the battlefield. You can't be concerned with who your wife is laying with. Is she taking care of the children? Are they eating right? You know, are they going to bed by nine o'clock? All that, you know, none of that BS. You can't be worried about that on the battlefield. And we are on a spiritual battlefield. We can't be worried about all of these things. So Yahweh Shah was explaining, if any man come to me and join this battle against wickedness, join this fight against sin, because the scripture tells us that Yahweh Shah came that he might destroy the works of the devil. And that's in Peter, uh, I'm going to say 1 Peter. I, I, I'll see if I can pull that up. But he said, if any man... Come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also. He cannot be my disciple. So it say even your own life, you cannot be afraid to die. You got to hate your own life. To the point where you're willing to give it up. You're willing to accept martyrdom. You know, so that goes into, you know, you not trying to live it up in this world. And that goes into ready to give your life for the cause of this truth. Every man must have something that he believes in and that he's willing to die for. You understand? So there's Yahweh Shai is speaking about. Soldierhood, you know, soldiers ain't concerned with Mother's Day. There's nothing wrong with, you know, want to gift your mother, 
and, and show appreciation as they say, give her her flowers. There's nothing wrong with that, but a soldier can't be concerned with that. Oh, it's Father's Day coming up. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to take, take my old man out, you know, and all this and that. Or even your woman. You understand? That's not soldierhood. Now, the apostle taught us, apostle Tahar taught us that when you go into the word soldier, it means solitaire. And this is why. You cannot be concerned with father. You cannot be concerned with mother. You know. And for the most part, they all in the world anyway. Your wife, your children, they're all in the world. So how much more so then? And so as you go into that word hate, you would learn that it's basically saying you you got to, uh, they come after this truth. All right, this truth comes first. All right, and uh, Luke 14, 27 says, And whosoever doth not bear his cross <clears throat> and come after me cannot be my disciple. So you got to take up that cross, man, of uh, pain and suffering turmoil going through that fire to undergo the chastening of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Let me find it. Yeah, first John, I said first Peter Salakia. Uh, this first John. First John chapter three, verse eight. He that come uh he that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned it from the beginning. For this purpose the son of Yahweh was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. And it ain't like the devil is just going to roll over. He's going to fight. He's going to put up a fight. You know? So that's what this 5G is about. That's what this Karagma is about. That's what the Large Hadron Collider is about. The, the uh, Particle Accelerator. That's what that's about. You know, that's what these D-Wave computers are about. And that's what his Space Force is about. It's about... Coming up against the only begotten of the Heavenly Father. So what I'm saying here is that there's conflict. And that conflict is another term for war. You'll hear, you'll hear Esau mention, or he might throw the term conflict out. Yeah, you know, there's a conflict in the Middle East. He's, he's, that's code for war. So there is a war going on. A war has been waged. And you you got the uh, the extras, the bystanders, those who don't know what's going on. Then you have those of us who have joined the battle. That we can never forget that this is a battle. The demons are always watching. Satan is always going about to and fro in the earth, seeking whom he may devour. Always. You claim to be a man of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you are being watched. Not only are you being watched by the angels, but you are being watched by the demons. And they looking to come in there and take you out the box. You know, and that's the, the one of the major vessels of taking you out of there is the box. You know, so this is why Yahweh Shai is saying, hate not, or uh, uh, you must hate father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, all that. Because you got to be a soldier. So he that committed sin is of the devil. 
for the devil sent it from the beginning. And this is none other than Esau Edom. Or arch nemesis. For this purpose, the son of Yahweh was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So that that um that day is coming. But he's he's destroying it already through us who are out on the battlefield. So we must remain focused. We must remain vigilant and diligent. And it's a beautiful passage here by Paul. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Masiak. <clears throat> That's what we are. So we must endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Masiak. Now get this. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. Right. Being a soldier ain't about mama. It ain't about daddy. It ain't about Uncle Lou. Ain't, ain't Bessie. It's about Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and the task at hand. You must have a sense of duty in this truth. So no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. Oh, it's my anniversary. I ain't going to be able to make it to camp, you know. It's my anniversary. Or uh, it's, my, it's my baby birthday. You know, I'm going to have to uh, catch y'all next week. That's a lukewarm attitude. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. We were chosen to be soldiers. Who did the choosing? Yahweh himself. So we would say Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, chosen us to be soldiers. And this is what it's all about. So, right, a, a, a soldier don't join the army, you know, especially in the time of war. We're in the time of war. A soldier won't join the military in the time of war, you know, uh, worried about whether he's going to live or die. He joins because he, he's, he's uh, accepting the call. He's accepting the call. He's willing to stand up to the challenge and put his life on the line because he believes in the cause of what he's fighting for. And so that's where we find ourselves. Many are called, few are chosen. If you accepted the call, then you can't give a damn about as being a good soldier. You can't give a damn about the affairs of this life, what's going on with, with your, uh, your nieces and nephews. Oh, my, my nephew graduating, you know, uh, this year. To hell with all that. All this shit is coming to naught. You know? So, uh, right. With that, man, America's about to be destroyed. What position do you want to find yourself in when it's destroyed? Hey, put forth your best effort to do all that you can to stand in these evil days. And to the next one, Shalom.